All right, my friends. So today we are doing a video that's kind of a little different because uh, it was something that had got my curiosity going. And it's this program called uh, Imogen. This, you'll see it here on the screen. Yeah, here it is. Your personalized photo editing assistant. Now, it, its premise is that, and we see this, there's been a lot of YouTubers that have played with this and almost every one of the YouTubers that I have watched play with it. This is a sponsored thing. So basically what it's doing or what I you are led to believe it's doing is that AI looks at all your, your looks at your photo, like each one of the photos, and makes adjustments, right? Makes adjustments to that photo to make it kind of have this look, right? Based on AI, so artificial intelligence. That sounds that sounds wonderful. You can do color correcting, it has straightening, it has cropping, uh, all kinds of things like that. I've actually tried it. Now this is a program or sort of like a sidecar program something that works in conjunction with lightroom number one i'm gonna i'm gonna bring up lightroom here so here's lightroom classic uh which is what it works with so we were away in alaska just uh last week and i was like hey it would be kind of cool if i could just take some of the photos that i took uh here's one for instance and just run it through here because you know you get I think it's like uh, 1100 photos or something like that for free to try out and they have these pre-done uh ais based on other people that you can use and i was like that's cool i'll try that because you know my photos were taken in all kinds of different conditions so you'll see here there's a train and these are all these are all have been done already you know it's landscape uh more landscape these were shot through the window of the train while we were on it there's a glacier right and these have all been processed already. Okay, through Imogen. I think it's called Imogen, not Imagine, Imogen. And while I was going through these photos, and again, all taken at different times of day, in some were inside, some were outside, some were at full telephoto, some were at full wide. And I was using an 18 to 400 lens from Tamron. Um, but this is the one thing I noticed, and we'll kind of go back to the first one here. And yes, this one's it was I didn't shoot it fast enough, which is why it's a little blurry, but whatever. Um, I want you to look over here. Okay. Now AI should, in my opinion, maybe this is just me, but in my opinion, AI should mean that we're making modifications based on the photo, and thus because your photo is going to be different, you know, you're just, sh you're shooting at different focal ranges, you're shooting at different shutter speeds, you're shooting in different environments, you're shooting all kinds of stuff, um, different lenses, sometimes different cameras. Uh, this information should be the same. Now I have played with some of these photos a little bit, but watch this area right over here. Ready? Next photo. It hasn't changed. Next photo. I see. I played with the shadows in this one. Other than that, didn't change didn't change back to normal because I didn't play with this one I did play with the shadows so back here didn't play with him back to the same played with the shadows a little bit shadows but like except for the shadows which is something I was just playing with look at these they're all identical it hasn't looked at these photos at all right it's it's I don't know what it's done. It's basically, in my opinion, it feels like a, just a, a pre-built LUT. You know, it looks like it's a pre-built uh, set of actions that have been just pushed on these. So, you know, it's got the same slight curve. Go to the next one, same curve. Go to the next one, same curve. Go to the next one, same curve. Go to here. You'll see a red and orange pop. Same thing, same thing, same thing. Right, we go into sharpening, same thing, same thing, same thing, right? It's got all this chromatic, it's got all that turned on. How is this AI? This is, like I said, it's just a pre-built LUT. So uh, I was like, okay, well, these photos, these photos here were all shot with the same camera and lens. So these were shot with the Canon R7, with a Tamron 18 to 400. Hold on, my puppy's chewing on something. One sec, Lucy. All right, so, so far, mm, not overly impressed with this. Okay, so let's, Lucy, puppies. Anyways, okay, so let's close down this one. 
Okay, so we'll open a different catalog. We'll, we'll do, I did a, a set of wedding photos. Okay, and again, I just picked some photos because I was like, oh, I'm curious to see how these reacted. So there it is. Okay, relaunching Lightroom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done this one. I'm not 100% sure. So let's look and just kind of go through them. <laughs> look, look at, so these were, these are all shot differently, right? Okay. There's no, there's no changes at all. It's the exact same modifications. Where's the AI? Where's the AI? Wow. How is it looking now? These were even taken with two different cameras completely. So these were shot with an R7 and an R6. So, you know, we've got zero change. Now I used a different profile, which means that some of this has changed, but like they're all, it uses the exact same set of modifications. All the settings are identical. They don't do anything really. That's kind of camera per like, and even this one, this one doesn't even have lens correction. So that means none of them have lens correction right now i did do uh on some of the photos i did do the straightening feature because it's like a beta feature but that's not ai that's just looking for a horizon and if it can see when it does it like apple photos does that it has an automatic feature your iphone has that in it so that's nothing so uh okay that seems scammy to me and if you really like one of their photos why not just do it to one photo and then copy it and then paste that to all your other photos so can that can that be doable i can't see let's try it okay so file let's make a new catalog okay uh and i've i've set up some so i did a test folder here now test folder actually has photos from uh, my mirrorless or so the Canon stuff. It also has some iPhone stuff in it because again, different cameras, very different, right? Raws to this. And you'll even see here to here the are, are different, right? What they were shot with. So uh, R6, I think it was versus uh, R7. Okay. So anyway, so let's go here, file, new catalog, let's create this and we'll just call it test uh we're gonna put it in uh the test folder along with everything else sure create doesn't matter we're good to go now i gotta relaunch a lightroom okay and here it comes I'm doing this all kind of in real time for you guys now what we'll do is we'll do an import so I'm pretty sure if I do this, I can go to library, import, uh, Alaska, da -da -da -da, test AI. There we go. There's some photos again, right from, and they're different. You got landscape in there. You got my daughter in there. You got motorcycles. You got iPhone pictures. Doesn't matter. We're going to import. It's going to import here. Enable address lookup. Sure. I don't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't, that's fine. Right. And you'll see this is all giver, given her, right? I think that's done now this, and you'll see when I go in here, you know, if we go into develop, for instance, we have this screen up here and you'll see none of the, the, none of these are touched, right? So I can go through all these. They're all set to default. Yes. All good. Yep. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one photo. We're going to take this first one here. I'm going to mark it as a five star. And, and the only reason I'm doing that is because we need something to identify that this is the photo that uh, it's it's going to work with. Right. So it's the, it's the photo that Imogen, imagine AI is going to work with. So we're going to close this. Okay. All right. So now we have image in AI, which we'll come back to. And we are going to go here and I like this. Well, again, I think it's honestly, I think it's just a lot, right? We're going to say, use this to edit. Yep. I'm going to say this one is, if you look at all these for whatever, I'm going to say landscape, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is my test. 
and I'm going to just call this test. Modern Classic is what it's using. We can crop, straighten, subject mask. Okay, all, all cool, right? If you want this, this part, I guess, would be some of this could be useful, but that's not overly hard to do. Uh, really, what we're looking for is any five star, which puts me down to one photo. And uh, we are going to use that folder. And now we upload. And basically, it's this, this should be really fast because it's one photo. Yes. So up it goes. This is real time for you guys. As you can see, now it's really fast. I have to say that. But if it's just adding a LUT, how how fast does it need to be, right? So upload completed. Now we just we click here. We can wait. You'll see it editing. And again, as far as I could tell, it's probably just editing one photo and then pasting all that information to the other photos, and that's it. It's just it's not AI. So we're waiting. Okay, so all finished, edit, and now I can do the download to review, so we're going to download that. Yes, 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 download edits, continue, it's going to download and then open them up in Lightroom. Okay, so we should see the first one change, yes, so if we go to library, this should now, because it's there, yes, this should now have edits on it, yes, yeah, edits, cool, all right, sure. But really, at this point in time, as far as I know, I should be able to just come here and say, copy settings. Yes. Yeah, I want to copy all that. Now, if it was masking in that, I'd probably turn that off. But right now, you'll see lens corrections. There's no curves, all this stuff. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't even copy the crop because there wasn't any on this. Okay, copy. Okay, so now that I have these all, I'm going to pick all these. And then I'm going to, uh, where is it? Where's my settings here? Develop settings, uh, paste settings. Yes. Uh, and that's it, right? I've got, I've got now, if you go to develop, you know, they all have the exact same settings on them. Some of them have screwed up. Some of them, you know, maybe a little better. But they all have that same color preference that, you know, I I just don't, maybe I'm completely wrong and maybe it's doing something else magical. But if I'm wrong, can somebody please explain to me what Imagine AI is doing outside of just basically setting up a LUT or basically, uh, you know, allowing me to do, especially if all my photos are similar, especially if they're all similar, why can I not just put one up? for the free and then paste all the settings onto the other one because I really don't see any difference. Um, conversation down below because I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious. Uh, I, I have a ton of LUTs that I've bought and paid for. And to be honest with you, you know, just just as useful because I can kind of preview them before I have to go through this whole phase. Right. And then see which ones I like on my photos outside of hoping that the photo ends up kind of looking the way it is after the whole process and having to pay for that. All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, Imogen AI, is it AI? Is it just a LUT? Is it is it an actions paste? Uh, what are your thoughts? That's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Uh, leave your comments down below because I'm very curious and maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm just not seeing something that's there that it makes this awesome, but I, I don't know. All right, guys, conversation. Let's start it up. Later.